wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. An altar. So... The Eternal Fires made it to Velen. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. This is Triss. No offense, but, uh, not great with your hands, are you? Why don't you take some wooden rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. 
And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Wanna have a chat with this Pella? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilf Guardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. <laughs> that all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong, and light'll do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna! I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Unvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Heard you have a problem. A monster you call a shrieker. Aye. Prowls about it does. Snatches cows and goats mostly. But it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well, he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm-hmm. Took a hatchet. Laid an ambush for the shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Gut stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. High time a professional took a look at this Shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad art to chat with. 
Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Can we talk? Let me be. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. I wanna avenge your father. But to do that, I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Ran to see what you were on about. There were Dad, in the bushes. A hole through his belly. And he were moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? Shush now, calm. 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 Take care, kid. Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded, most likely. There it is. Won't get away this time. Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank ye, Master Witcher. Your reward, taint much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart.